Jigspace is a great way to create quick 3D presentations. Just press New Jig and you'll be loaded straight into the Jig Workshop. Press the plus to add new files into your scene. You have the option to bring in your own CAD files, bring in models from the Jigspace 3D library, or you can bring in images and videos. The 3D model library contains a wide range of different models. We'll be using the hairdryer. Once the model has loaded into the scene, you can interact with it using the jig toolbar. We're currently on the move tool. This allows you to move your object in the scene. You also have the option to rotate this object, as well as scale it to be larger or smaller. You can enter sub-object mode in order to select and edit the individual meshes that make up your object. By holding down shift, you're able to select both pieces of the outer casing. You can also enter the multi-select menu at the bottom of the jig toolbar. While in this menu, any object that you select is added to your selection group, and if you click on it again, you can remove it from your selection. Press the tick to confirm selection. This allows you to edit multiple objects at once. To change an object's appearance, go to the color palette in the jig toolbar. Once you've chosen a material, you can then edit the color, or you can apply custom textures. Adding steps is like adding slides to your presentation. You're able to explore different aspects of your model and even create animated transitions between those steps. With these outer meshes selected, you can pull them aside and turn on their transparency in order to reveal those internal components. To discuss how air flows through your model, you can add spin to selected objects. You can see that the fan looks like it's pushing the air out the rear of the hairdryer. If you reverse the spin's rotation, it now looks like air is being drawn into the hairdryer. You can type in a value here in order to speed up the rotation. Add in a label to emphasize the focus of this step and educate your audience about a product or model. The label will stay in view even as you move about the seat, directing your audience to the focus of this step. And when going from step one to step two, you'll get a nice fade in transition. Select step one and press new step in order to create a copy with the hairdryer closed. Now I want to show the hairdryer turned on with hot air flowing out the end. To do that, you can add in an effects shape. By selecting the flow effect and changing its color to a warm red, you can indicate the temperature of the airflow. Then you can scale and position this effect at the front of the hairdryer. Scale along the axes in order to match the taper of the hairdryer nozzle. Step through your jig to view its transitions. Go to AR mode to view your jig in augmented reality. In AR mode, you're able to move around your 3D model and view the presentation live in the world around you. Once you're happy with your jig, it's important to fill in the jig's details and save it out. Adding a thumbnail image is a great way to make your jig look more professional. Turn on public sharing in order to share jig links with your colleagues and clients. And finally, don't forget to save your jig.